Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about batch files extension. So in the last video you have seen that the batch files which we have created contains the extension of .bat that is .bat but if someone just look at that file then he may or may not open that file uh, because he can think that it's a malicious file. So it's must to change the extension as well as the icon of our batch file. Now how we can do that? So we can change the icon and the extension of that file by using some softwares so we can use icon changer in order to change the icon of that batch file so here you can see that i have changed the icon of this batch file and here you can see that it's a windows batch file but the icon is changed similarly we can also change the extension of batch file that is .bat to .exe so in order to do that we can use extension changer in order to change the extension of that batch files and here you can see that I have changed the extension of the batch files now the extension is hello.exe now the extension is .exe and it's a executable files so now let's see how we can change icon as well as extension in our system now let's try to change icon as well as extension of batch file in order to make people believe that the batch file which we are going to create is not a malicious one well, in order to change icon and extension, we need to download some softwares. So the first software we have to download it is called as icon changer, which we will use in order to change the icon. So you can download this software from here, from this link. And once you install this software, then the next software which we will download and install is, is called as bat to exe converter. So this software is used to change the extension of bat file that is .bat to .exe file. So you can download this software from here from this link that is F f2ko.de. So I have already downloaded and installed both of them in my virtual box. So let me open my virtual box so you can see here. So here is my icon changer. So first of all let's create a sample batch file. and I'm creating a very simple file which will just print out a demo user and let me save this file on my desktop let me rename it as sample.bat and you will see here that here is the file and if I open this file here you can see that it's printing out demo user now let's try to change the icon of that file so let me open this software so as soon as I click on that software here you will see it asks us for the file which we want to change or we want to change the icon of that file. So we can also change an icon of a particular file and even we can change the icon of entire folder by clicking over here. But for the time being let's click here file click OK and let's go here to the desktop and let's select this file. So once we select the file, then the next thing we have to do is we have to select the icon. So you can see a list of all the icons, but these all I icons are present in our system. So this software has scanned our system and find out all these icons. So if you are not interested to set these kind of icons, then what you can do is you can download icons from the internet also. There are a lot of free websites which provides free icons. But the thing to be noticed is that the icon which you will download from the internet must have the extension of .ico that stands for .icon. Then this software will pick that icon otherwise not. But for the time being let's try to change the icon and let's try to put it this. So as soon as I click over here you can see that this comes in set so if I click over here set and let's go back and here you will see that the icon of our batch file is changed and let's check its property you can see here the windows batch file so this is how we can change the icon but now let's see how we can change the extension of this batch file so let me start my bat to exe converter so here you can see that the bat to exe converter which I have downloaded from that website and installed in my system. So here at the top I have to give the location of a batch file or I have to select a particular one. So let me click over here, click on desktop and here is our batch file, click on open. Then at the bottom just after the batch file you will see here a save as. So here you can specify a particular name and the extension should be .exe because it's a .exe converter and here you will see a lot of options 
So if I click over here, the first thing is visibility, whether you want to make it visible or not. So we, yes, we want to make it visible. Then the next thing is we want to add uh, administrative privileges or not. So as I told you earlier in the previous video that there are some batch files which requires administrative privileges to run. So what happened is if I open this batch file, you can see here it doesn't ask for uh, administrative privilege. But if I select this option, then what happened is once the file is converted into .exe file and when I open .exe file, the first thing it asks us for the giving the administrative privileges. So if you want to give uh, administrative privileges to the file, then you can select this option. Otherwise, you can just simply uncheck. And there is one more feature of this tool that even we can encrypt a program by specifying a particular password, but we are not interested. And the main thing to be noticed is that we have to select a particular architecture of where we, we are converting the exe file. So whether your target system is 64 bit, then you have to select this one. And if your target system is 32 bit, then you have to select this one. So let me select here. And the another thing which you can do is you can even specify a version information. So if you click here, include version information, then it just add a fake random version information in our exe file so that the people can't be figure out that it's a malicious one. So they will trust. Now let's go back here to the options and let's click on compile and you will see here that the file exe file name as sample is created and if i check its properties you can see here this application dot exe but in order to confirm that whether it's working or not let's double click on this file and you will see that this file is still working and here it's printing demo user in this video we have discussed that how we can change the icon as well as the extension of batch files in order to make people believe that they are clicking on a genuine file. So thanks for watching this video.